today we're going to take a look at a headstand with LEDs built in. We're going to take a look, we're going to test it out and see how well it looks. So stick around. All right, so let's take a look at the whole thing. And of course, they give you actually the instructions off the bat. Um, warranty card, information card, company card, pretty much everything's in here that you're going to require, including the actual uh, the holding position where the actual head's supposed to be resting in here. At the, at the uh, USB connection, so you could charge, not charge it, but you basically have to plug it in to power it up, all right? Now they give you the pole and they give you two 3M um, double-sided tape that you could fix this permanent somewhere so it won't be moving around. So let's take a look. We're gonna put this on the side included with that. So let's go ahead and open it up. So if you guys could see it, there's a fingerprint here. That means that's probably the lighting. It's just a touch feature. There's three LED lights that actually um, give the power to the rest of the, give the lighting to the rest of the unit. And we're going to take a look at it, how we can set this up. So let's go ahead and set it up in here. And the pole is pretty much two different directions, but there is a light here and it fixes up. So it's pretty much going to come down here. Uh, you could go either direction how you want, either direction, because they're both fixed to the one side. So we're going to plug this in. We're going to plug, put it in there. And like I said, if you don't like this rotation, you can move it to the other side too. So then we get this. This is a flat base right here, and we're just going to plug it in here. And let's go ahead and power it up, and we're going to turn off all the lights and see how well it works. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start with the test itself. So if you guys can see the light in here, the bottom, there's a little light in the bottom. I turned off all the lights so you guys can see a little bit better, all right? So it might be, quality might be a little poor on this, but we shut it down so we can see the lighting. Right now, it's a rainbow. It's actually going to a rainbow cycle, but there's a little touch feature here that you just touch it you will fix it at the color that you want now put all the colors that are available here you guys can see red you cycle all the colors and then at the end it's going to go back again to the rainbow cycle now it does have a wave feature again like i said but it does light up the tube on the top and it lights up all around this whole system you guys can see on the foot on the foot end i like it i like that part so we're gonna go ahead and turn on the lights and talk a little bit more about it. I'm gonna take um, I'm gonna take it to the back first, all right? And if you guys can see, there is two USBs, and when you plug it in, it identifies as a as an audio connection because it's a plug and play automatically. So that means you can plug in your headsets in here, and this is a um, um a, a 3.6 jack connection in here. If you guys can see it, regular analog connection that you plug in, um, or you could transmit it to digital too also, but. USBs will only give you five volts out and that's about it. Now on the bottom end, if you guys can see it, it has these little legs right here. It's, it's actually rubber ends here, so it won't move too much. So you could use that 3M tape that was available too. Now, this is not permanent fix. If you guys can see it, you could twist it anywhere you want. If you don't want in one direction, um, anywhere you can go. So not bad little feature. Now the USB becomes, uh, it, you sacrifice one USB, but they give you two in reality. It's not a supercharged station, but you get five volts enough for anything to power. It could be a mouse, a keyboard. It could even light up another RGB setting, all right? Or another headset stand if you guys want to. So let's go ahead and continue. All right, so I like the lighting in the bottom. I like that. Uh, fingerprint is right here. If you guys can see it, it even shows you a little fingerprint where you have to actually plug in and touch it, right? It's just a basic touch. You don't have to put too much weight on it. You can rotate lights, very simple. But look at this, look at this. I have my Astros in here. And they're looking awesome hanging in the system. So I, I pretty much, I'm soaked about it. Now you can rotate this top too. Like I said, you don't have to, it's not fixed permanent. All right, you can rotate it. Now, if you want a completely permanent setup somewhere where you could put the 3M tape, the double-sided tape, you can do that. But right now I like the way it looks. Uh, one simple cable. And then on top of that, they give you two USBs. Um, it's a hub, so not bad, A, version A. So.